Yo, what's up, crazies? It's me, Crazy Knock, and today we're gonna make another video, yes, on the new blog. Every blog, every ounce of news, we're putting it on the YouTube channel to share with you guys. And look how much stress it's putting me through. Look how much stress. Stress. The stress is too strong. So I wanna skim through the good parts, the juicy parts. We're not gonna sit here and read. Okay, who likes reading? I do, actually, when it comes to multiverse. Any other books? Get the hell out of my face, huh? I want to make sure Molda versus combat rewards smart, well-timed, and calculated play in fun, engaging, and fluid way, okay? Equally reward more strategic gameplay, and I, that actually makes sense. It feels really nice for them to come out and say that when they show it to us without telling us, then we don't understand, okay? It's like if you brought out a tiny little apple pie, okay? <laughs> It's like if you came out and brought me a bag of money, I'm like, okay, I'll take it, but why? Oh, what's happening? Oh my God, I'm gonna get arrested. I'm gonna lose this, this, this for a drug dealer's money. They're like, no, 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 this is you. I made a lot of money and I wanna donate all this money to you. And they're like, okay, ah, uh, ah, uh, now I can feel relaxed getting this pile of cash. Great analogies, I know. Analogies, crazy knock. So it's very nice to know what they're thinking. While our evolved combat prior is more strategic and neutral play. We feel these changes for our launch still preserve the soul of multiverses combat while evolving it into a positive direction. This confirms that I had to believe that they're changing this stuff for a reason. They got it. They can't just be like, oh, you know what? Bigger characters, slow it down. And yeah, just mess around, random sliders. Huh? What am I? This isn't Bob Ross, okay? There isn't happy accidents in multiverses. There is meticulous structure. And they go on to say it with them building the net code from the ground up, it allowed them to really hone in, really polish, really... Um, I don't know what that was. Spit shine. Spit shine the, uh, the characters to make them more fluid, add new attacks, just make it better for the multiverses for so much longer in the future. And I, I can't wait, man. And with that in mind, they basically improved the clarity by making the characters bigger. One thing I did notice, these guys look very small, but I think the map is a lot bigger. It's small characters on the new map, because look at the platforms. I know the Sky Arena's platforms, no way they're that big. I do agree if the camera angles and the maps are different and look different, okay? If it's not like zooming in, you know, just like, oh, oh, what's gonna happen? What's gonna happen? Oh yeah, gameplay. You know, that plays a big part, oh yeah. Characters are bigger now. This is going to be the new camera. When you're doing an ultra <laughs> zero to death combo, this is how close you gotta. <laughs> but I do agree. This just makes me as a player feel better for them to talk about their character sizes. When you're fighting an opponent 1v1, the camera will zoom in to bring you closer to the action, but when the combat moves to wider parts of the map, you'll see the camera pull out to capture all the mayhem. I'm, just, I'm a little worried about how how much it's zooming in, but it, you know what? It might work out. It might work out. And obviously, you're going to make changes, not just off a of whim, just like, oh, hey, you know what? Let's change this because, you know, the community is going to hate us for it. You know, let's just change this for no reason because it just makes the game feel worse. No, of course, they're going to be changing it to make it feel better. Or they added a set of animations that will not only improve the game visually, but it'll help you identify exactly what your opponents are doing at all times, which is nice. They just wanted the, um, you know, your movements and your attacks more impactful. We've paired these animations with revamped sound effects, which is really nice. We've heard some of the parries. And then once again, clarifying the game's new netcode will improve both the clarity and accuracy of combat. It's just... Oh, it's just gonna be all melt together. It's all gonna fuse together to become this beautiful, beautiful building, okay? It was a great foundation, but now we are creating the goddamn glorious temple. Good information on the dash attack. Iron Giant's new one. Absolutely marvelous. Absolutely marvelous. One more time. <laughs> He's gonna just use his cheeks to smash you right to the ground. Big cheeks. So this is how you activate it. You also can input forward direction twice in quick succession to use your dash attack. That is very good knowledge. That's very good knowledge. It seems like you can use it to, uh, you know, counter attack if they're coming in. You can use it to end a combo. Overall, that seems really good that you can use it in multiple scenarios. Uh, they just mentioned the parry again, saying it requires precise timing to pull off, so it's not going to be something that's easy and just like, you know, spamming over and over, which is good, you know, a parry, 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 ow, ow, 
Ow! Ow! Why wasn't I just smacking the dummy? So, you know, that was annoying. I literally just annoyed myself right there. And I just want to... <laughs> Cause it seems like they're saying it's risky if you parry and you're exposed, like if you miss, cause they could time it well and punish you. But you know what? Superman will never need to parry. Just say or nair, get him out the edge. 20. Digging a bit into the details, the hit volume. Oh my God. The hit volume, the timing, the placement of all hits has been adjusted for every single move. Can I just go to the bathroom and release my oh too late too late oh my goodness gracious man that is so beautiful to hear now no matter which character you pick their moves feel much more precise and impactful so when i slap you like this it's not a dodge hit hit it's a hit boom Ow! A lot of attention and care has gone into designing the multiverse's character kits and we're looking forward to getting hands on these reworked characters. Oh man, I am all for it, man. I don't care what you change, remove Superman, grab, I don't even care. If you added something different, I am I'm actually super, super erect. You might be thinking to yourself, has Crazy Dark been erect every single video he's done on multiverses? Yes, yes, okay. My, I, don't, I don't choose when they go up or when they go down. <laughs> this is Harley's new balloon mechanic. The visuals, I don't know. You can't even see the strings. You can't even see a string attached to the bomb. But I like that it moves up. I think it's more precise. It seems a little bit bigger as well. Oh, yeah, let's look at the old one. See, I like the uh, visuals of the balloons a little bit better on this one. The balloons look better. Like, there's no strings. You know, they actually, like, curve in to, like, hang them up. But, you know what? I'm glad for the mechanics. I'm all here for it. We've built a variety of tools that allow us to continue to improve the game over time. Meaning that once the game is live, we'll take in your feedback and continue iterating so that our community continually has something to look forward after launch. You know, those are just words for now. But you know what? The, with the direction they're going with these blog posts and you know communicating and sharing things more and more just if they're doing this before launch just imagine what they're capable of after launch screw off discord i'm not here for your notifications did that discord notification freak you out that is the one thing i am a little worried about or you know a little skeptical i'm not i'm like you know saving my judgment for the release everyone's like you know what their marketing is trash this that oh my gosh what are they doing i can't believe it the multiverse is dead multiverse is screwed what are they gonna do to bring me back to play the game i don't know everyone's freaking out no no it's okay they're doing perfect <laughs> you know what yes their marketing hasn't been the most perfect ever it's definitely not been the worst either. I'm sitting back. I'm very optimistic for the game because I know I've played the open beta. The, the foundation is there. It's so good. Why don't people just sit back and wait for the release date? I know we all want it, dude. I want it as bad as you do. Don't get me wrong. If you're saying you want it more, then you better fight me because I want it bad. That's what really matters. After launch comes, do they just you know, ghost us. Do they not say anything? Crazy, that is the blog post. And we wanted to go over to the Discord because they did answer some more detailed questions. So let's go take a look. Walk twice being the input sounds like ripe for actual inputs. You have two options here. You have the ability to walk forward until the star bits appear, which will activate the dash attack with a forward attack input. Okay, so when the little stars appear as you're walking forward, do a jab and the dash attack will go. Does the parry have end lag? That was kind of implied, but now confirmed it does so if you miss a parry you can be punished that makes sense i really like that i don't want any spamming of parries does parry use stamina and if it does how much parry is one of the six pips in the dodge meter it is activated with neutral dodge and if you hit someone after you gain some meter back based on your punish okay interesting i like that a lot wait can we still can we still forward tilt out of the dash Oh, so that's what the mechanic is from before, where you could like use the momentum of the dash attack to cancel into a jab. So you have 15 frames before dash attack is active. You can also use a dodge boosted attack, which carries your momentum forward as a fast burst. We showed this in the Batman clip. So right here on the Batman clip, I'm pretty sure he does a forward forward 
instantly and then an immediate down air to get the boost from the dash attack but then churn it into his own attack. Boom, instant forward forward. See that momentum, does a dare instead. That's what I understand from it. So if you're doing the dash attack and you do the forward forward dash, you can actually cancel the attack to do another attack after you dash. You can, instead of just doing the dash attack, you can dash and then attack and then attack dash. Attack, d attack dash. Ooh, look at this. Really important question. Does Superman grab beat the parry? Mm, what does that mean for Superman? What does that mean for S Superman? Huh? I feel like it should parry if you get it perfect because parries don't seem like they're going to be easy. So I feel like it'd be perfect. So this guy's asking if you can use like the, the C stick or in this case, this one like to do the attacks to cancel out of the dash attack. It seems like it would still do the dash attack because you're still like moving forward. Uh, I can't think of a time I blamed anything on a miss parry other than myself. That's good. If you parry a multi-hit, it parries the character immediately. But, so just anything they do, they're instantly parried if you parry without getting hit afterwards by like something still in progress. But generally speaking, would you guys say that there is more or less restriction on what moves can be dodge boosted slash canceled out of? Dodge boosting moves will have it varying changes based on what the move is to balance it this way someone like Arya with a sword doesn't fly across screen with an active hitbox but someone with a short range jab could close the gap it says is regular neutral dodge completely re replaced by parry it says no but then it says how do you get punished for a missed parry if it just is the beginning of your neutral dodge wouldn't it just and turn it into a neutral dodge wait so you can't punish a parry see that's what i'm confused about you definitely can remember since it is tied to a neutral dodge all you have to do is wait for the dodge to be over and hit them okay so there's still like a i guess i'm used to old multiverses where if the neutral dodge is over you can like just dodge immediately again so maybe that's not the case okay interesting oh move stalin which is a uh, tactic a have move stalin been changed in any way it felt kind of weird that some characters main combo tools would stale the same speed incredibly powerful kill moves this is very big to address and you will you no longer will see a tactic a appear and it will naturally stale but not kill combos anymore. This was very important for us to address and feels much better. Okay, oh, wow, that is actually huge because usually you couldn't be like, oh, I have a tactic, okay? I can't do this combo anymore because you can dodge out of it immediately. So it looks like it won't kill the combo, but it won't, you know, be powerful enough to shoot you off the map. That's insane, that's so good, Jeff, isn't it good? Jeff, isn't it good? Please tell me. So good, I'm so happy for you. Oh, you're just a sweet, happy boy, aren't you? Are you mocking me, huh? Are you mocking me? <laughs> He's mocking me, he knows it's cool. We all know it's cool. No one, come here. Come here, I have to kiss all of us for that. <laughs> Crazy, there's also uh, one new thing, Barbie indicator of the, you know, you got the Barbie handlebars and everything. So we could get Barbie, guys. I think I think Barbie would fit in multiverses. I think it would, I, the thing is, I am super proud. You know, I'm, I'm a proud father. I'm a proud father of multiverses. They did a really insane good job at putting the characters in there. Cause you didn't think Gizmo could be in there. You didn't think Velma could be in there. LeBron James, like you don't initially think LeBron James multiverses. You don't think that, but now that they're in the game, they feel amazing. I have no doubt on that front for Moldiverses being capable of putting any character they want in this game. Like seriously, I'm super impressed. <clears throat> Thank you so much for watching today's video. That's gonna do it for us. You know, not a huge amount of information, but also a lot of information. Think about it. <laughs> Overall, I think I can speak for most of us are, you know, reassured that these changes aren't going to ruin the game. These changes aren't just coming out of nowhere. Then they're going to listen to our feedback like, hey, this, the characters are still too big. I'm sure they'll value that feedback and listen to it. How do they act and communicate with us after relaunch? And with that, I say good night and goodbye. Goodbye, crazies. Goodbye, crazies. I love you, crazies. Goodbye. Goodbye. Oh.